Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bland County Survivor Man. Hey, guys, I thank you for watching. Man, it's a cold February morning out here. It's probably about, uh, I'd say it's about 30 degrees. We've got a little bit of snow coming down today. And today I want to show you something here, guys, that, that I've been reading about and studying about. And they're called bird snares. We got one bird snare right here that has that you use a weight to make it work. And we've got a bird snare right here that we use a spring pole to make it work. Now I've never used these things before, and uh, I like doing this kind of stuff just to sort of review what we read about sometimes and see if the stuff will actually work. In setting this stuff up, I've already found out that if the bird does not come down and plant his feet on that peg right there and stay there clamped down, this thing's going to miss and this thing's going to miss because the stick goes down, the string goes down, the bird's probably going to try to fly away in just anyway because it comes when he tries to sit down on it, the thing's going to give on him. So that's just a natural instinct for the bird to try to fly away. But now, these things I think were designed to catch carrier pigeons. So in, you see this stuff in survival books and you read about it and you go, I wonder if that stuff will really work. So this year what I'm going to do for one of my videos is I'm going to be out there somewhere in the mountains on a camping trip and I'm going to try this stuff out. But I'm going to pick up the camera guys and show you how I designed it and how it looks up close. That way you get a good picture of how easy it is to make these things. It really is easy to make and it's easy to set, but I want you to see just exactly how that looks. Okay guys, there you see the one that's got a weight on it. And the weight right here is is just a rock out there in the woods and all you really do is you just get you a piece of string and this stuff can be cordage that you've had to make uh, in a survival situation uh, so that you know maybe you don't have any cordage and you you don't even have any shoestrings or anything like that so you got to make you some cordage so that's what it actually looks like you tie a knot in the thing and you drill you a hole through your piece of wood or your your uh, tree or your stick that you drove in the ground and then this stick right here just actually holds that knot in place right there get around there so you can see that a little bit closer hope you can see that knot but anyway it's the same way on that one the bird comes up and perches on the stick right there right there and when he perches on that and holds on to it the stick will go down and the weight will just fall down and it'll clamp the bird right up against the stick right here the bird should be sticking right there when he's caught right up against that loop but anyway that's two ways of doing it you can see right there I've got a spring pole made see how easy that is to make you just you just tie the thing on right there that's pretty simple pretty straightforward you can actually just cut a, a little sapling off if you want to out in the woods, or you don't even have to cut it off if you don't want to. But I'm surmising it uh, when I'm doing this right here that if you had some kind of bait to put on the stick to get a bird to fly down there to take it, that would probably be easier for you to get a catch like that. Okay guys, that's what it looks like. What I'm going to do this year is I'm going to take these things out into the field. Not these particular ones. These are just models or mock-ups of the real thing. I'm going to go out on a, in a real, on a real uh, camping trip or a survival situation. And I'm going to see if I can actually catch a bird with one of these traps right here. I'm going to design this one out in the field and I'm going to design this one out in the field. But uh, Guys, uh, don't just trust uh, just anything that you see on a video or anything that you see in a book. Try the stuff and see if it works. You don't want to be in a survival situation setting things 
that just absolutely are not going to work for you. So guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Like I say, appreciate it. Uh, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor man. Have a nice day.